Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Skyrim Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Timber Springs mod, which is being made by user Timber Hill. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a fun new location in the world where you, the Dragonborn, can go and have a little rest and relaxation after a long day of adventuring, and that of course is the Timber Springs Hot Springs Resort, which is magnificent. It's such an odd little thing, but I've actually been having a lot of fun with it. I think it's a pretty interesting and neat little addition into the game. So where exactly will you find this in the world? Well, that's pretty simple. We're over here in East Marsh, just down river from Darkwater Crossing. Just to the northwest there is where you'll find Tim Springs and it is a pretty cool now just right off the road heading into Darkwater Crossing you'll get this sign here for Timber Springs with a lovely bridge taking you over to an area that was previously just sort of an open barren little uh, hot springs area that has now been turned into Timber Springs, which is pretty cool. So what all do we actually get here now that it's, oh boy, it's starting to fog up on me. Let's switch that, there we are. Gotta love console commands. Now what all you get here is basically a small sprawling hot springs resort, beginning with the Timber Springs Inn, which both the exterior and on the interior is a pretty standard inn slash bar with all the regular things you'd get there. Now outside of that is the bathers camp which has a number of tents set up for people to stay in and is also sort of the main area where the people enjoying the hot springs do tend to hang out. Now then we have the primary building here, the Timber Springs Bathhouse, which is the main bathing area, indoors at least, and does actually have a number of hot tubs, which is pretty cool. And one of them even fed by a water tower on the outside, which is a very nice little detail. And finally, we do have the Keeper's House, which really isn't somewhere you'll probably go to unless, you know, you want to steal their stuff, but it's a simple house on the interior where the sort of groundskeeper for this place does live. And so, yes, that is all the things here at Timber Spring. So let's take a little bit more close of a look at things, as well as some of the fun features we do get. Now, of course, like I mentioned, we just come across the bridge here, and the first building we encounter is the Timber Springs Inn, which is quite nice. And on the outside of the inn, provided he hasn't wandered, ah, there he is, we do actually have Pavo here, who the is a sort of generic merchant for you to, you know, go and buy and sell things to while you are passing through the resort. Resort, which is pretty I neat. Hope that you will come now, to we also, with us again. of course, can head on inside, and the Timber Springs Inn is going to be fully complete with a bartender there to sell you food and drinks and be another merchant that you can sell things to. But otherwise, as mentioned, it's a pretty typical inn on the interior. A lovely little fireplace, some rooms for rent, etc. Uh, very nicely made, though. I do like the look of it all. And here, haha, is the second person that's a fun extra feature. Good old Boris. He'll generally hang around in here in in the inn and spends a lot of time in here. I'm, I'm assuming this something? is his room, but Boris is yes. actually a companion that you can have join you. Uh, he's just a generic companion, no like special quest to him or anything along those lines, but he will follow you and can also give you some training in one-handed weapons, which is a nice little addition. So it's not just All a right, neat then. little spring to go and enjoy yourself at and have a little relaxation time, but you got two merchants here you can sell things to, and a guy you can have him Welcome come and join you on your adventures. Now, moving into the hot springs area, we've got the lovely walkways here with a number of places where people do enjoy the springs. We've got this sort of a central eating area here where this Lady Luna Denner tends to hang around. And, of course, over on the other side where we have the bathers camp. You can see people currently just sort of sitting around the place. They do tend to wander around both here, the hot springs itself, and even heading on into the bathhouse right over there. 
Well, yeah, you know, just kind of a cool little campsite over here with some neat tents, very well decked out with furs, etc. Each one holding either one or two beds for people to sleep in. And there's even, on the back side to the west, a set of stairs going down to, frankly, one of the nicest latrines I've ever probably seen. I mean, imagine, you know, doing your business next to a waterfall. That, um, kind of cool, actually. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Well, yeah, just some nice latrines here for the uh, people visiting the spa. And then we do also have, like, another little uh, tent here with a nice little uh, target practice bit and also a tanning rack for you to, well, do any leather working in. Oh, it's nice. And then another small little encampment here where people will hang out and bathers will come to enjoy the hot springs. Now, if we head on inside to the bathhouse, which is probably my favorite part of this whole place, it's just great. You got the nice little uh, inn sign there, which is, of course, the wrong inn, but still a nice sign. And heading on into the bathhouse, it's just a cool idea, taking sort of the typical hold building, ripping out all the walls, and creating this an actual bathhouse out of this thing it's pretty neat but let's check by the door first where you got a nice little area to get yourself undressed and prepared have a little lavender spruce yourself up and a nice little uh, table over here with some empty bottles of wine and a sweet roll and on the right hand side moving into the main bathhouse area is well the nice hot tubs here which are pretty cool you can just step right on in enjoy a black briar mead and just so Soak it all, soak it all in. Ah, magnificent. And you got like a whole load of towels on the shelves of a variety of other things, such as more of drinks there. And I think this one's probably my favorite bit in here, just because behind the building, by that wall, there is a big water tank outside, and that's where that water's coming from there. Just a nice, neat little detail, which I very much do enjoy. Oh, we can just have to see that one of the bathers has come to join us here by the fire, where we also, interestingly, have a, um, shrine to Mara? Don't know why that's there, but hey, Mara's all about love, and who doesn't love a good bathhouse? And then finally, we've got, mm. like, a cold bath over here with some nice lounges. Just a lovely place to relax in. Now, then if we head back outside into Skyrim, there is sort of a small outbuilding off to the side of the bathhouse here, just in the trees. Nothing really too special about it, but it is there. But we do have for your use, you know, a nice cooking pot here, as well as a place for you to chop wood, and even a grindstone for your crafting needs. And the, uh, the innkeeper will buy firewood, so, you know, if you need to make a little extra cash, you can go ahead and do that. Now, if we head back along this, this way, following the uh, boardwalk bit, we are led back to where the keeper's house is. Again, just a simple little house on the outside. has a nice little garden. I do like that there's a lot of lavender around, and there are lavender plants growing. And you can see there, that's the water tower bit I had mentioned. And yeah, we'll just head quickly into the Keeper's home. Like I've mentioned multiple times now, just a simple little house Tidings. with the two people who do huh? tend to this place. Madney there, mm -hmm. and also Holda are the ones that appear to live here. This guy kind of just wanders around everywhere. Well, yeah, just a nice simple little for? home with uh, just a few things sitting around. Nicely decorated. You can take it if you like. You want to steal all their worldly possessions. But, you know, yes. maybe don't be so rude. You're at a bathhouse. Enjoy yourself. And then you can continue on with the boardwalk over here to another area to just sort of sit, relax, have a drink, some food, and enjoy the beautiful scenery behind... Uh, Dark water crossing over there. Lovely. It is just a cool little place. Perhaps not the most useful locale ever. There's no quests associated with it. There's no interesting things like lore-wise. It's, it's just a neat little location and a cool place added into the world because, I mean, come on, 
Who wouldn't see beautiful hot springs like this and not want to sit and relax here? Uh, for anyone who has visited this area normally in the game, there actually is typically two hunters, I believe, camped out enjoying the hot springs. So basically it's just expanded upon that little idea of people coming to this lovely place to enjoy the healing hot spring waters and just having a little bit of fun in life. So if you'd like to download this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you give it a go, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is really all, all I've got to show off here. It's just a neat, fun new location in the world. So do go check it out, have fun, and hopefully you have enjoyed this episode today. And you do come back for the next, when hopefully we'll be looking at another wonderful mod. But until that time, my friends, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!